Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims Medieval and we are here in Moss Stone Kingdom with Queen Briar Rose who is currently trying to secure her claim to the throne by finding the family crest which was lost when her parents were tragically eaten by whales while on a fishing expedition with the crown prince who was also lost at that time and so Queen Briar Rose has come of age and she is ready to take over Moss Stone Kingdom and begin repairing it. It's a little shabby right now to be honest and bringing it up to glory but she needs the family crest in order to really study her lineage and hopefully secure her claim to the throne she sent out a pigeon in order to see if there is any distant family member who could come and help her we got a response from her cousin but he seems a little bit crude to be our cousin so queen briar rose she's gonna have to go ahead and figure out just what's going on and she has a current quest of going to discuss her rude relative with some of the foreign leaders so we're off to discuss that with some of the foreign leaders right now. This is actually the Merchant Prince Jaden of Tridany. Uh, let's see, yeah, Tridany. That's how I'm going to pronounce that. And that is actually the, there we go, territory map. That is actually the land over here to the west. And this, he's the leader right there. It's a loyal kingdom right now. And they have a lot of useful things to trade. They unlock the Banker's Ale, the Gem Wine, a Fine Loaf. So they have a lot of like nice fine things, kind of like elite little things to make us live at the higher life uh, that we could potentially get, but I don't know. We'll have to just stay stay <laughs> in good graces with him since I already tried sending the other foreign dignitary off to the stocks. So we're going to see if we're able to manage with him. All right, let's go over. Merchant Prince, come talk to us. Inesetta, why are you gossiping with my master builder? I don't know about that. There's my rude cousin, and he's talking to poor Carissa. I bet he's probably, like, cheating her out of the very last of her funds, for all I know. Hey, oh, I thought we were over here in order to talk to our, our merchant prince friend. Okay, let's come over, discuss rude relative. I don't even care that cousin Jace is still in here. He may be the first, the first man. Where are you going with her? Don't you talk poor Carissa into something. Servant Gretty. When did I get a servant named Gretty? Hello, Gretty. Are you my servant now, too? You look like you'd make a good eel stew. Maybe we'll have more than gruel to eat. That man? Ugh, don't get me even don't even get me started. What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, also I'm hungry, so let's go ahead. Call for food. Her Royal Majesty wants food. Who is going to prepare it? Is it going to be servant Gretty or Inesetta? It's going to be Inesetta. So Inesetta the servant. I guess servant Gretty is just like, she must be somebody else's servant. Darn. Doesn't look like I'm getting ill stew tonight. All right. Maybe I need to discuss. Uh, where's the other foreign dignitary? Where did I throw her? Is she inside? <laughs> is she really? Is she Is she in the stocks where I sent her? Uh, I maybe need a good relationship with my grave digger. Who knows? Cousin Jace, builder. Where's the other woman? Uh, Swordsmith Deidre. That's, she isn't here right now. Darn. I guess I'll have to wait for her to show up. All right. So let's get some dinner. Might as well invite, um, let's see, ask about musical preferences. Maybe just politely chat, discuss the state of the kingdom, etc., etc. Maybe a little bit of get to know. Might as well go ahead and talk to Jaden over here so we can increase our relationship with, oh, is that Sea Dog Casey? What the heck? Strolling in, see Dog Casey. I'm pretty sure you are a pirate, ma'am. And she's just strolling in, super confident that there'll be no uh, shopkeeper Lizette is coming. That there'll be no side effects of this. That would definitely distract Briar Rose. All right, enough chatting with him. See Dog Casey, what are you doing here? Like, ask after your health, I suppose, for why you're here. Get to know a little bit. You realize this could be slightly, slightly dangerous for you to discuss artistic works. I don't know if you you can be safely here, Casey. I mean, and it looks like the merchant prince really wants to talk with royal advisor Paula. Oh, I can propose edicts and everything from here too. Interesting. It looks like my shopkeepers and everybody are coming to use my library. So I guess we need to make sure we have a good library in town. Or probably, that's probably the entire store of books that all of Moss Stone has now that I think about the, Now that I think about it. Hmm. All right, is there some food available yet? Because I'm pretty hungry, but we've got to see what the heck Casey thinks she's doing here. Maybe discuss some more whale hunting with her. Oh, the gruel is ready. Yay, thank you, Inesetta. I'll discuss the state of the kingdom. 
with her. Yeah, I think that I think that Royal Advisor Paula is suspicious. Casey. Casey, I mean, really, we don't have a lot in the castle. If you if you thought you could maybe sneak in here and get something, we honestly don't have a lot going for us in the castle right now. <laughs> so it's not like there's any any there's not even any forks for you to steal. I promise. We just have gruel. But that's okay. So Casey's coming to visit, and this is interesting to see that the prince Jaden, the royal merchant prince, excuse me. So he's not actually royalty, but the merchant prince, and royal advisor Paula are both here. And it looks like Casey was just stopping by for a moment to say hello. That is interesting. All right, where's my gruel? There we go. Is this is this better gruel? Sweet porridge, large porridge is a fairly bland, dull meal. Add a little sweetness, however, and it turns into a party. And then can I? Okay, and there I am. All right. Well, at least we've got some some good old fashioned gruel. Too bad. <laughs> I wonder if we could make something better ourselves. Inesetta is just kind of like a very plain cook. I have the feeling that as our like as one of our <laughs> Servants, she just does the bare minimum to get things done and then moves on with her life. She's not interested in impressing the queen or giving us any due diligence that we should probably have as royalty. So, hmm. All right. Aha! Oh! I did throw her in the stocks. Um, so awkwardly, I now have to get the other woman out of the stocks. <laughs> Oh no, I have to get her out of the stocks in order to talk to the Smith Master of Craft Hall. Oh dear. Well, that creates a little bit of a diplomatic, mm, a little bit of a diplomatic issue, if you ask me. Also, I love this. This is just so, look at all the detail. Oh, I'm a detail lover, and this is just perfect. All right, Your Royal Majesty. So she's enjoying the decoration. Shirk's response. I should not have a responsibility that has to do with that has to do with like throwing a parrot at someone i am really not pleased by that hopefully we won't get any more of that so now she's feeling slightly unfocused but she's feeling comfy and decorated and you know what i think since it's midnight um we perhaps cousin jace you can just stay where you're at sir i think i and here i was worrying about perhaps making a new bed and everything for for our cousin to visit at and i don't know if we're gonna make a new bedroom but actually i kind of want to see what her majesty's comfort <gasps> children we could have little kidlets that's right we of course we're gonna have to have kidlets that makes so much sense because we need to be able to pass on the royal line. So that's going to have to happen. Um, let's see. There's a whole bunch of tents. There, That's just like the basic bed. So this is the straps and scraps double bed. And we could have the granite grandee. Hmm. Does it, is it more comfortable? It is significantly more comfortable. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we'll want to go that fancy right now, but I think we'll go ahead and let Briar Rose have something a little bit nicer. She really seems to love green. I wonder why. Hmm. What could make me feel like Briar Rose should have green things? Who knows? My own personal passion for green things? And I know I just spent like a ton of money, but this is almost like to show up Cousin Jace. Isn't that terrible? I want to do this in order to be like, ha, take this Cousin Jace. And actually, I want to come down here. And we, I did change up the throne room a little bit, by the way. It was driving you all mad to have this rug be blue. So I changed everything to be matching greens. So let me go ahead. I want to grab this and change that. There we go. Change that into what we'll have our bed be made out of. And then maybe we'll even change, we'll have our bed be made out of wood. So we can have like a nice, nice masonry bit. That's actually really cool. I like it. Let's have our bed be made out of the same kind of wood. Not the blanket though, oh my goodness. The same kind of wood as that. And then we'll even change, if I can, I want to change the gold fittings to silver, but we can't do that much. Okay, that's fine. The gold fittings look pretty cool too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and snag that. And I'll probably horribly regret buying a super expensive bed like this for Her Majesty instead of using the money on something a little bit wiser. But you know what? She's a young queen and she's bound to make a few mistakes here and there. Uh, maybe a chest? Can you store things in these chests? That would be interesting. And then I feel like Her Majesty should at least have... She does have a mirror in here. Good. I feel like Her Majesty should have something... Uh, dining tables, end tables, maybe a coffee table. Oh, you can get little altars? <gasps> That's so cool! And we could have a little desk up here. 
Miscellaneous surfaces. A driftwood stand. <laughs> that would be really fun to put down and say it's a gift from Casey. Maybe we'll get all sorts of gifts from Casey, actually. We can have wall shelves. Oh, think about all the memories we can have through the generations. I hope you can have generations here. That would be really interesting if you could. All right, well, let me see. Maybe a wall lamp or a floor lamp of some kind just to make things a little nicer in here. I feel like Her Majesty needs to have at least somewhat of a decent, even just this little this little brazier, brazier? Oh my goodness, what a, what a word to say. Even that would be nicer than nothing. You know what I mean? And maybe keep the, the darkness at bay. Like even this is nicer than nothing, you know? So we'll go ahead and put this in here. I spent a ton of money I shouldn't have, but I'm very happy with Her Majesty now. Oh, and she can change her outfits over here and plan another Sims outfit. <gasps> we can change what everybody else is wearing. Yes, that's going to be so cool. So, all right, let's let Her Majesty go to sleep. And we'll have a new royal responsibility that we can tend to in the morning. Is she done eating the porridge? All right, yes, yeah, she's done. All right, so we're off to bed. The merchant prince has come in. Hopefully the servants and he and my builder are speaking with one another. I guess they never and my builder is just the the sweet little old man it, or he's not that old I guess but let's see. Yeah, he loves his family. He's earthy and he's insecure which I think is just like the most precious thing. And we've learned that the merchant Prince Jaden of Tridany is a jokester, greedy and he has a weak, weak constitution so he probably gets sick a lot. And then what else do I know? Oh, I do. I can talk with the forest bandit. So I think we can actually summon the forest bandit who's friendly and puny to us in the future. It would be interesting if there's some way to like add her to our household as a controllable sort of servant, but I don't think there is. Mysterious shuffling sounds slowly begin to stir Lady Briar Rose from her slumber. With sudden alarm, she realizes there was another presence in the room. Lying perfectly still, Briar Rose weighs her options. Should she take a peek? Should she carefully take a peek at the intruder without being detected? Maybe she can decide the best course of action. Should she feign sleep? In, uh, in time, the presence will leave on its own. No, we're taking a peek. All right. <clears throat> Lady Briar Rose dared to sneak one eye open. Just a crack. In the far corner, a shimmering creature <laughs> hovered, glaring balefully at her. It was holding something that resembled a tooth. With an irritated tisk and a flap of glittery wings, the intruder was gone in a flash. Alas, it was but a dream within a dream. Received 25 experience points. That's hilarious. We saw the tooth fairy. Oh my gosh, Briar Rose, you precious, precious thing. You saw the tooth fairy. That's just hilarious. All right, so I think we will allow... Uh, the smith master to have to just stay and look at all my servants running around the smith master has spent the night in the stocks i i believe we can maybe find time after a good meal and a good night's rest apparently that was a delectable meal too uh can i call for food again the servant what what do you mean my servant is not currently here I don't know what to think about that i'm gonna go ahead and have her make her own bed because it's kind of like her way to collect her thoughts so I don't know, and it looks like my royal advisor. Let's come and chat with royal advisor. How fair thee? And then perhaps monarchs and pit. No, I want to be able to do something better than that. Uh, trait. Uh, we'll talk about the whale story again because we'll use it as a reference to cousin Jace. So I don't trust cousin Jace. So we'll we'll come and speak with our royal advisor privately in the corner over here about our cousin, and we'll see how situations go from there. Can I call for food? Arr! I can't believe I can't summon food when I want food. Milliner Aaron here is gathering up some food. Hmm. Who are you? Chandler Guy. Gosh, everybody's wearing really cool outfits. All right, royal advisor. Well, we'll, we'll chat with our royal advisor first thing in the morning. When does our servant show up? Like seven? You should be here when I awaken. That's the way royalty works, isn't it? Don't I get any perks? Ooh, what's over here? There's some little logs. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> my castle's so cool. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I can plant things at some point. Okay, anyway, back to work. Back to work. Gotta be the queen. Gotta be the queen. All right, so discuss things with the royal advisor. I am getting hungry and I'm a little cranky about it. Let's come over and maybe I can uh, make some food of my own. So eel soup grood. Oh, oh yeah. So she did make us something nice with the seed porridge. I gotcha. Look at all this stuff we can make. Frog soup? <laughs> Oh my goodness, some mushroom soup if I find some mushrooms. Pigeon soup, rabbit soup, seafood stew. Oh my gosh, whale stew. 
I imagine that's what the Queen Briar Rose would serve all the time if she was able to, um, if she was really wanting to, like, make a point against the whales. Apple pie would be really yummy. Oh, my gosh. You need a lot of different ingredients to make some of this stuff. That's kind of impressive. And then the fine loaf is what we have access to because of having a relationship with the merchant prince. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and make some flatbread, even though I really wish we didn't have to. But it appears that everybody has come to partake of my feast. So I no longer have I no longer have my own gruel to eat and I'm not eating after somebody else's gruel. Thank you very much. Plus, this is kind of cool, not going to lie. But like I said, it would be really fun if I could move somebody in. I have no idea if you can and control them so that then they could be able to, um, like, I could say they're the servant. We could move in the poor little thief and she should just become one of our servants. She'd probably be better than Inesetta. All right, there's Jace. What's he reading? Hmm, exploring the monster psyche. I don't know if I like him. In fact, I know I don't like him. And, but there is some delicious fresh baked bread. Oh, that looks so good. I really should learn how to make bread myself too. That would be fun. All right. So her majesty is almost feeling better from her shirked responsibilities, which I feel were fine. All right. Let's go ahead and eat the flatbread. Oh, I can put it in my inventory and eat it later. That would be so nice. And then I also want to open the larder. Is that my... Oh, that's a peasant. Oh, there's Inesetta. Now you appear. So she comes at seven. I'll remember that. All right, so let me go ahead, open the larder, and I'll put away the seeds. Oh, apparently I was I was having a chat with Jared the peasant. I wonder what that says, being the kind of queen who actually meets. I don't know about Chandler. He might be in cahoots with cousin, uh, cousin Jace. All right, we'll put those away. Okay, good. And now it, we can go ahead and release, release the merchant, the master smith from uh, the stocks. So we'll head out to do that on this beautiful day. We have much to do and a whole kingdom to try to put back together because it's kind of it's kind of a bit of a mess right now. Look how beautiful of a mess it is though. Oh my gosh. And we do have much to do. Oh, it looks like our cousin is also coming with us. All right. So we got distracted. Apparently our cousin distracted us. The graveyard, thank goodness, is actually empty. Nothing I can do over there. Aha! And there is the Smith Master. So she has been released from the stocks. It appears that they've been released today. Who's this? Hillary the Peasant. She looks quite pleasant, actually. Oh, she looks very old. Oh, poor old Hillary. I'll try to make this a nice place for all of us soon. All right. You, Deidre. I hope you've had plenty of time to think about your behavior. Now she's thinking about the graveyard. Maybe you're you're gonna shape up now that we've been able to tell her what for. So let's see what she has to say about our cousin. The things he said about Craft Hole, you can't imagine. All right. So it doesn't seem like our cousin's very popular. And then I must speak with my relative when he gets back about these reactions from about the reactions from these dignitaries. And then I wonder if I should. Uh, spit in the face, belittle womanhood, <laughs> call a lackwit cur, call a milky eyed knave. I think we will, um, monarch, challenge to duel. I think what we'll do is we will discuss the well, well hunting. Um, yeah, we'll t share the well story and discuss well hunting as a way of reminding her who, who is in charge here. Oh, there's our cousin. All right, hold still, you. I wonder what the little horse thing means. Is he like a traitor? All right, we're going to confront him. It looks like Deidre is wanting to see which side of the coin is going to be falling here. If we're going to be able to stand up to one of the first... Oh my gosh! Are we going to be able to stand up to this? Betrayal! I think someone's betrayed the queen! I don't think he's telling the truth, you guys. I think he's bad news bears. I think he's betrayed Her Majesty Queen Briar Rose. I think, I, I, you know, when we first started this, I would have never thought I would want to feed the monster in the pit, but I am changing my mind rapidly. So, 
Let's see if you're going to stick around, sir. You're going to listen to them over your own family? I don't know, cousin, but my memory is getting really hazy about the crest. Perhaps you can make this up to me, and I'll remember. I'll make it a little clearer. All right, family crest. How can Lady Briarose appease her cousin? Fine, you can have one of the robes from the royal wardrobe. Here, 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 look. I'll proclaim you as the greatest cousin in all the land, all right? Um... Hmm. 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 I feel like she'd be a little sarcastic. I wouldn't really... We don't really have a lot of clothes, but we did just... I'll say we ju did just find, like, a bunch of the clothes. That's what the chest is. <sighs> Greatest cousin in all the land. Why not? Let's be ironic. We're going to be ironic with it. So it's a sarcastic declaration of greatest cousin. This is degrading. But I'm going to say she's being sarcastic about it. You know what I mean? It's a way of, of being like, yes, sure, you're the greatest cousin. And if this is how she's beha behaving, declare cousin's greatness uh, in a graveyard, no less. Yes. See, I feel like, look at that little, that little tilt to her, her eyebrow. I feel like Lady Briarose is being ironic here. She's, she's being like, yes, here I am with no living relatives, really, except this jerk of a cousin. And this is what I have to put up with. There, he seems to be pleased with that. It's... It seems I should watch what I say around him if I ever want to get to know about the crest. Speaking of which, I should ask him if he's ready to give it up. All right, cousin, come back here. Get back over here. Where'd you go? All right, there you go. Ask about the family crest again. I like how they become highlighted when you're trying to find a specific sim. So let's confront him again. Oh, she's thinking about getting into a duel. I really think he's betrayed the queen. And then our royal things today, write a... a Treaty of Ongoing Peace and read the war crimes docket. Interesting. Many war criminals are being tried at the courts. My advisor has thoughtfully provided me a docket summarizing the various guilty verdicts. Okay, so I'm going to need to look over those to make sure. Oh, apparently you can like make sure peace with the territories are continues by writing those things. That's interesting. Now that I'm getting used to the the royal life, cousin, I'll give you the crest later. Relax. I don't think this is going to turn out the way you think it is going to. The town crier can be a little annoying, but her information is always solid. Let's see what she's heard. All right. I think you need to watch yourself, cousin Jace. I don't know. I don't think... I think that uh, we have a queen who's beginning to realize that she's being played, and I don't think it's going to end well for him. All right. So next time, we will go ahead and we will potentially work on some of the things that we need to do for our royal duties and then we will go and find the town crier and find out if she happens to know anything about this cousin jace so who on earth are you what taylor he, then he's a cha taylor i would guess he's like a warrior or something wow who are you yeah and then merchant mona brewer Shea. yeah then we'll look around at some of the amazing characters who have popped up here oh and we have the merchant over here shopkeeper lizette that's right and we can buy from the market stalls fascinating all right so we'll check all of this out next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye